Yes, hello there. Yes, it's me, Arthur. Um, what's well, my avatar? See, my face there. Um, welcome to a new series called um, Hidden Treasures. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to be trawling through uh, the back catalogues of various uh, consoles uh, to show you the uh, best of the uh, cheap uh, end of the market games, the best retro games, and maybe even just give you a little bit of history on, on why some of them are important. And this one today is very important indeed. Uh, and it says it's, uh, it's Jetpack. Uh, by uh, Ultimate Play the Game. Came out in 1983, you know. So, um, yes, we're going to have a lot of fun today with this. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss out on any hidden treasures. Thanks for watching. Now let's get on with it, shall we? So, in uh, 1982, uh, two uh, brothers, uh, Tim and Chris Stamper, uh, both of them uh, were uh, ex arcade video game developers. They started a company uh, and uh, they traded as Ultimate Play the Game. And uh, they uh, produced many classic games uh, from 1983 through to about 87. Um, the most important one, I have to say, is this one, I think, Jetpack. Um, why is it important? Well, for these reasons. Number one being that uh, this was their first release um, and it was uh, what really set them on the, the path to such great success um, that eventually, you see, this company, Ultimate Play the Game, became the company that we now know as Rare. Um, you know, who bought us Goldeneye and Perfect Dark uh, and uh, uh, Banjo and Kazooie and all those wonderful games on the N64 and even through even to the present day uh, with games uh, such as uh, Sea of Thieves, for example. Um, and the, the second reason is that uh, in 1983, um, it won the Game of the Year uh, at uh, the Golden uh, Joystick Awards. Um, and it's very important for, for lots of reasons, but you can't put a price, you see, on winning an award like that. It, it, it established uh, them as being at the forefront of uh, early video game uh, d development. Now, what is important as well to see here is that the reason why the game was so well received um, is because of its simplicity. The games, of course, back then weren't complicated. They, they couldn't be. These games were running in often 16K uh, of uh, RAM. Um, but uh, you see, it, it kept the games almost uh, in, a, in a kind of purity uh, where there were no bells and whistles that weren't necessary. All, all that you had on the screen was the important masses of the game and the mechanics of making it work. So here we are, you see. I've just taken off. Uh, in this uh, rocket which I've built and filled with fuel and that's that's basically how, how every level works. And, and, and I can hear how some of you are already saying, well, Arthur, why on earth would I want to play such a simple game when I could uh, be playing uh, 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 Fallout or, uh, or, or, or GTA or, 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 or something more uh, visually appealing and complicated? Listen, if you play this game, you will find that it is one of the most addictive games ever made. And it is for that reason that I bring it to your attention today. Because, you see, you can actually play this, as I am doing now, on the Xbox console. And of all the Xbox console games, it has to be one of the most addictive games available. Now. Does it cost £70 like some of these new AAA titles? No. You can get it on Game Pass for free if you're a subscriber. But it's just a, an Xbox 360 uh, game um, which is um, uh, available in the store. Uh, and uh, you, you can pick it up for next to no money at all. One of the classic games of the 80s. Uh, and it, it, will, it will bring you hours and hours of fun. Uh, it's a fantastic piece of programming. It's an achievement of, of, of software engineering par excellence. And uh, not only that, not only do you get the, the game as it was in 1983, but take a look at this. 
you get a completely updated graphically version of the game, big screen, uh, full size, uh, widescreen, uh, high definition graphics. It's the exact same game, um, just with different platform layouts uh, to fit bigger screens. Um, and look at these amazing effects here on the trail, on the, the jetpack, and you're picking up power-ups now, you see, to improve your laser fire, uh, to defeat these aliens who are doing their best to uh, uh, to kill you. And uh, there we are, there's some fuel there, we can pick it up, put it in the rocket, and uh, maybe even grab another upgrade or two, you know. I, I tell you, uh, when, when I was a lot younger, and, and there wasn't any other games to choose from, but the, the simple uh, ones, uh, such as Jetpack from 1983, um, even then, you see, it, it, it was something special, and it stood head and shoulders above so many other titles that were out there because of the, the quality of the, uh, the game itself uh, and the, the addictiveness uh, of the, just building this silly rocket and dropping these fuel pods into it. I mean, it just sounds, it sounds so ridiculous. How could this possibly be such an addictive game? Well, I tell you, give it a go. Give it a go. Why don't you let me know in the comments uh, what you think? Um, if you're if you're an older person like me, um, then perhaps um, you played the original. So so why, why don't you share uh, your experiences of this amazing, wonderful game? Uh, we'd love to hear from you, uh, and uh, do as well if you don't mind. Um, why don't you put uh, your ideas in the comments about what uh, games I should look at? Uh, what hidden treasures have you found uh, that we can share uh, with the community here? Uh, let us know. And, 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 and yes, just before I go, no, I'm not on commission. Yes, I'm not trying to sell you this game. Um, it's, it's not going to benefit me at all if you did buy it. Um, I just want to share with you uh, some of the older games uh, for which I have a great love and affection. Um, that's all. So, so, so thank you so much for watching through to the end. I hope you've enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you know when the next uh, Hidden Treasure video comes out. And uh, this is Arthur signing off, and I'll see you all very soon.